I mean, I imagine it's been a long time since you've been with your castmates, but it's probably fun to reunite on the carpet for such a big everybody deal. except Mark. Except Mark. And that's the only one I didn't miss. No, but he was actually one of the guys that he would... <laughs> We would laugh up until and action, and then we'd have to stop laughing and d dive into drama. How did you do that for your scenes? Because your scenes were no laughing matter. I don't know how you were able to t flip the switch. It's a gift. Like, I don't want to stay in darkness, right? So my whole life, I try to run from pain, run from darkness. I, as a comedian, something bad happens to me. The first thing I say is, what's funny about that? And so all the rest of it, I lock away inside my heart somewhere, and then Liesl would tap in, open it up, and crack the safe. Wow. And I let it out, and I couldn't wait to close the safe and get back to smiling. Well, emotionally, I don't know what that was like for you, but you did that on the screen. Thank like you. you, you really. We don't know. We didn't know a lot about Aretha's husband, yeah. and you really made that. I mean, I don't want to say come to life because he, he was living, but what, what did it take for you to go there and how were you able to just embody that and have that come through the screen? Um, I think the approach that we took for the character was, you know, not to, I didn't want to play a monster. Mm. I wanted to play a damaged man. Mm. And in a damaged man lies an insecure, hurt little boy. And his intentions was to rescue her from her damage to make her great. His intention, when a man loves a woman, it's not to, because uh, he doesn't want the best for you. Yeah. He intentionally wants the best for you. And he rescues her and they yeah. start having success, but then he spirals out of control with insecurity. And at the end of the day, he tries to hit her and you know abuse her because a damaged man wants to damage a woman. And so he just couldn't rescue her and eventually she had to leave him. So I think that, that, that gave it a lot of texture, you know what I mean? What I appreciate is that you saw all sides of him rather than just trying to play him in one way. Like, and I hear that as I talk to you. When it comes to Aretha, though, do you feel like you have a, have a greater appreciation for her now that you've gone through playing her husband in this movie? Absolutely. Absolutely. For several reasons. Because, I mean, what she went through before, she was under control of her father mm -hmm. and his vision and, and his autonomy. And then for her to, you know, be swept out of there to this husband that winds up abusing her and tries to do things his and then to escape that and to because power is something we give somebody mm -hmm. but once she took that power from those men and gave it to herself she empowered herself mm -hmm. and then from there she took that power and she made it a light for females for the female woman movement mm -hmm. and she was also a big part of the uh, civil rights movement so you know for somebody to, to take their power and their control and then make it a blessing for the world i mean i think she's a she's a legend and i'm glad we we honored her with this this movie me too i know that when i talked to you during the junket you talked about the importance of playing in a different type of role than we've seen you before yeah. what did it mean for you to be a part of this movie though i mean for me you know i grew up in a house with six black women and the queen of soul was played in our house all the time <laughs> from my mama to, you know, I probably learned how to spell respect, listening to respect. <laughs> and my mama saying, you know, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, -E me. And then my sister's listening to the Sparkle soundtrack. Oh, the, yeah. the uh, what was the song? The Not Natural Woman. Giving or, them something he oh, could feel. Giving them something he could feel. My sister was at the radio, 15 years old. And my mama was like, how the hell you know what he can feel at 15? And then six months later, my sister showed up pregnant with my nephew, who's here. So... <laughs> Aretha was a big part of our household and so I feel so good uh, about being in this movie and being a part of this movie because to be raised in a household with such beautiful strong black women as my sisters and my mom mm -hmm. and I know my mom would watching from above would love 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 to have watched this 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 movie and I know she was with us the whole way. Such a beautiful tribute. Congratulations. Oh, oh no you have an um, HBO stand up coming yes, out I, so can you talk a little bit about that? Yes I, I have a um, I'm crazy. I don't. I have a drama coming out. Respect August 6th, 13th, and then August 19th. I have a stand-up comedy special on HBO Max called uh, "You Know What It Is," and uh, it's the exact op opposite of respect. <laughs> this is disrespect. So. <laughs> There's levels to it. There's You're levels to it. Very talented. It's so happy for you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you so much. Love. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.